Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today, we're going to take a look at a new app from Clev Grand, Clev Grand or Clev Gluta Brupa. Those guys know I can't say that name. Uh, and it's called Bruce Free here, and it means noise free in Swedish. That's what it means. I, I'm obviously not pronouncing that right, but Jacob will. And I'm sure he'll do a demo and stuff. So it's, uh, right, what it is, <clears throat> let's open Cubases where I have a few audio tracks. No, noise free, that's a clue, right? It's a noise reduction it's a noise reduction app. Okay, so it is probably the best noise reduction tool I've ever, ever, ever used, ever. I mean, it's ridiculously simple to use and it is unbelievably efficient. So much so that I, I absolutely believe that this is an essential app you need if you make music on your, on your iDevice. The thing is remarkable. Now you can also get it for Mac, and Windows, I think. So, you know, but this thing is just, oh, it's incredibly good at what it does. And it's super clever. It does not use phase cancellation. Uh, and it, <clears throat> other engineers use things like uh, called expanders. This uses expanders, but in a slightly different way. Anyway, uh, let's, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've got a few audio tracks recorded here to give you an idea of how good this is. So for anyone who's doing sampling and stuff or recording live guitars or actually anything that has any kind of background noise you just don't want, this is incredible. And noise reduction is so, so important. And it can sound so, so terrible, you know. And you can mess around with EQs and all the rest of it. Anyway, this is just makes life super easy. It's essential. That it do, go and get this app. Is a link. There's a link below in the video. Please use my link. I get a small commission from Apple. But yeah, there's a link below. Check it out. Right, so let's get on with it. Here we go. I'm going to play the first track here, and there's no effect on it at all. So it's just me noodling on guitar for a sec. It's noisy. <laughs> the idea it's terrible right so what we can do now it's an auv3 it's not a standalone like i said let's go to where it is then there it is clev grand bruce free and let's open it and that's it that's the interface uh there are no presets because it becomes apparent why you don't need them yet so you can make your own however let's go so you can see you've got attack threshold release you have a learn button and you have uh some filtering options okay it's not very often you're going to need to touch either of these or this or this, the attack uh, threshold or release or the edge or the, or the filters. So uh, initially when it comes in, it won't do anything until I, pre until I press and hold in. And you only need to press and hold it for a few seconds for the entire file. Okay, so like watch this. This is incredible. Right. Now I've applied the effect, listen to what it's done to the sound. Now we want to, at this point, we're going to start to want to boost our mix back up because of what it's done to it. But listen to this. That is incredible. I mean, it's just incredible. I'll take, I'll drop it out while it's playing. Listen. Now, like I said, you do have, if you think to yourself, oh, it's gone too quiet. Well, come on, guys. You turn the volume back up, put a compressor on it, put the EQ in, then you've got rid of all that naff crap in the background so let right here we go but let's this is what we can do we have our threshold here see like ordinary noise gates you're not getting that weird artifact so let's start to, uh, let's say, okay, well, uh, it sounds like it's taking a bit of the top end off to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
So I basically returned it to its original state and I have no noise in it now. Amazing. It's truly amazing. <clears throat> right, okay, so I'm sorry. I've got a terrible cold. I do apologise. I really, really do. I'm so sorry. It's me health, you know. Right, so let's mute this again. Uh, sorry. Um, let's mute that. And there's another one. Here's, so here's another example. Uh, track two. Uh, you can unmute that. So always with like delays and stuff, especially a vintage kind of delay, you do get a lot of noise. And you know, sometimes you're going to want that, but sometimes you're not. You know, if it's a very quiet piece of something and you really just want the ambience of the effect and stuff. So let's do it again. Let's add an audio unit. Ha. And let's find our, our, our three and do it exactly the same again. Let's just play and then hit learn. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what it's done to that. And then we can adjust the threshold as we go. Let's bring our... Okay, so let's mute this and let's move further on now. <clears throat> let's switch these off, actually. Um, let's move on to this. Now, this is uh, going to be useful for people. So uh, an example of it, if you want to, if you do have something like, um, you know, ge your general basic guitar noise. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, one. Oh, I am back. Do you know what? I couldn't hear the microphone in. There you go. So there you go. You can see that that is pretty much gone. And if we go to actually, we can take that completely out. And you're not getting any of that. I mean, it's a, it is a remarkable it's a remarkable thing how this works. It's incredible, and a couple more examples here. <clears throat> so if we go to this one now and we play the a bit of the track, it's just me talking. It's a uh, a really noisy recording. Um, if we listen in the background, we could probably hear. I've got the window open, so you're going to hear outside noise. Um, me rubbing the table. So you can probably hear that this is a, uh, a really noisy recording. Um, if we listen in the background, we could probably hear. Hear that this is a, a, uh, a really noisy recording. Um, if we listen in the background, we could probably hear, I've got the window open, so you're going to hear outside noise, um, me rubbing the table, it's me rubbing the table, it's, it's just a row and a racket that maybe you don't want, just like you wouldn't want it on the guitar amps, maybe. Maybe you would. But anyway, this is uh, one of the most essential apps, I think. I mean, absolutely, 100%. Uh, Brushfire, uh, Brushview. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, uh, Clip Grand or Clip Grand. That's why we need Jacob Hack, you see. 
to pronounce the Swedish. So you can see how absolutely remarkable this is. And there's one more, guys, I want to play for you, which it really is just a super basic. And all this is, is this. It's just, I just sat here with the window open so that the iPad mic, oh, and these, these were just recorded with the iPad mic, by the way, the vocal bits. And I just sat here with the window open and recorded the, 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 the background ambience. You can hear some seagulls and stuff. I'll turn out this microphone and, uh, and then apply the effect. incredible just incredible <laughs> so you see how how incredibly useful useful this is going to be to anybody f actually for people to go out recording samples stuff like that this is god oh, i think jacob's gonna love this he's gonna love it because he's always saying you know if you could just get rid of the background noise really easily that'd be really cool really very cool beans anyway guys there you go bruce free uh, brush fee, brush fry, uh, you do clever. Uh, please uh, check the links out in the description. And <laughs> in my opinion, an essential app, one of the essentials. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron. See you later.